Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is November and depending on where you live in the world, it's starting to get a little chilly. So if you are anything like me, winter is not the best. It can be a little tough, but especially if you have stretched earlobes, winter can be a tricky time for keeping your earlobes safe and happy and healthy. Earlier this year, I did some tips for stretched ears in cold weather, but now that it's November and we're gearing up for another winter, I wanted to talk about my favorite products for your earlobes come winter time. Stretch lobes can be really susceptible to cold weather and it can cause a lot of irritation for our ears. So it's definitely important we go into winter with some really good products to keep our ears healthy and happy. So let's talk about some of my favorites for winter this year. Starting off strong, we have this signature balm for stretched ears from South Shore Adornment. I got sent this to test out a couple months ago. Uh, I made a video review here on my channel. I'll go ahead and link it in the video, but I have been using this pretty much 24 seven since as my new go-to lobe care product and I'm sold. I'm a believer. I'm in love with it. I really love the finish of the balm and the way it makes my ears feel. I like that it's hydrating and moisturizing without making my ears feel super oily. And my skin, my skin is not great, y'all. I am already dealing with dry skin and rough patches just from the start of the cold weather. I've been dealing with this since like the middle of September. So even though it's only November, I'm already struggling with my psoriasis and dry skin. And this balm has been incredible for keeping my ears moisturized and happy and healthy as we're rolling into the colder months. It's really easy for your earlobes to dry out, so you want to make sure you're using a product that works for you. Obviously, everyone's skin is different. Uh, this balm works really great for me. It might not work for you, but I definitely think it's worth trying. It's all natural ingredients. It's all vegan. It's handmade over in the UK, but they do ship internationally. And honestly, a pretty small tin will last you a while. I've been using this nearly daily, if not twice a day, since sometime in the middle of summer, and I have barely made a dent in my tin. But for moisturizing my lobes and keeping them like healthy and soft during the winter, this is definitely going to be my go-to. Now keeping your lobes moisturized and happy is only part of the equation. We also want to keep them covered up when we're going out. So of course, you gotta rock some ear mittens. Uh, I actually lost my pair in my move. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, but I can't find them. I'm heartbroken. Um, so I'm going to be ordering a new pair off of Etsy. There's a couple different sellers that I like for these that I'll link in the comments down below. But for me personally, I don't always want to have to wear like a hat or a scarf or something when I go out. So ear mittens are such a great way of keeping my lobes like comfortable and cozy in the cold weather and just making sure that I have that little bit of added protection. If you're not really an ear mitten person, which I totally understand, a lot of folks aren't, um, people just don't like the look of them. I personally think they're like so cute, but that's just me. Um, making sure that you have like a really good scarf um, or a hat that's a little bit longer, or even has little flaps that you can pull down for over your ears is gonna be really beneficial for out in the cold weather. Just something to physically keep them covered, that way they're not getting irritated or grumpy. Now for me, when it comes to plugs that I wear in the winter, I personally do best with stone and wood. I typically like to steer clear of metal because it can just get really, really cold. And I don't really like wearing silicone because most silicone is gonna be eyelets and it's just gonna let that cold right through the center of the eyelet right into your lobe. And even solid silicone plugs I find just don't really maintain warmth that well for me. But stone and wood for my ears tend to work really good. Wood you do wanna be a little bit careful with. Some people's ears, the dryness of winter with wood is not a great combination. But if you're moisturizing your ears properly and you're oiling your wood plugs, you'll probably be fine. This time around I've been wearing my Omerica Organics wood plugs a whole bunch leading up to winter. They've always had a bunch of designs that I think are really cute, especially their laser etched and inlay plugs, and they've still been producing new designs that I think are really fun and really enjoyable, and their stuff is honestly pretty affordable. So if you needed to just grab a pair or two of plugs that you felt comfortable with just to get you through the winter, you really can't go wrong. On the stone side of things, we've got to talk about Grit Lapidary. These are not necessarily going to be the most affordable products that I could recommend you, but by God, they are going to be the most beautiful. Um, everything Mateo makes is absolutely juicy and delicious and wonderful. All of his stones are so pretty, and every stone that I have in my collection from him is 
hands down just like a one of a kind unique piece of artwork. He did a flash sale on his page on Instagram a couple months back for people to be able to pre-order stuff and he's got a new order system so it's a little bit easier to get into his queue for plugs. It's definitely a little bit more on the pricey end of stone body jewelry but it's so incredibly worth it. It's all handmade by an individual maker and everything is made impeccably. I think his polish is possibly some of the best polish on stone plugs you're going to get right now and because they're so well finished and so perfectly made to the specifications of each individual person's earlobes. For me, these are like the perfect thing to wear in the winter. The flares are not too big, not too small. The wearable is perfect and give my lobes room to breathe. The polish is immaculate so I don't have to worry about that and they fit perfectly with my little ear mittens and my little scarves and for me they hold warmth really well. And then my last winter product I wanted to talk about um, might not be something you're expecting, but in the past couple of years, every time fall or winter has started, I've always started to up my intake of vitamin D. I don't normally find that I need to take it during the summer, but after some advice from a lot of friends and medical professionals, I started taking vitamin D around fall and winter, and it has made a huge difference. Vitamin D is really great for your bones, muscles, your nerves, all sorts of things in your body, but it's also really, really good for your skin. It's great for skin synthesis, metabolism, and different activities in the skin, including the immune health and moisture barriers on our skin, and it just helps keep our skin a little bit happier and healthier. If you're someone like me who struggles with skin problems or you just have a tough time with your stretched lobes during the winter, yes, it's very important that we use a good topical product on our lobes, wear the right plugs when we're going out in the cold, and cover up our ears so we don't get frostbite, but it's also important that we take care of our skin from the inside, and a lot of us can end up a little bit vitamin D deficient during the cold months. So taking a little bit of added vitamin D supplement is gonna be great for your health overall, but it can definitely also help the health of your lobes, and as someone who struggles with psoriasis, skin conditions, and dry skin in the winter, I've absolutely noticed a difference when I start taking vitamin D, typically right around now-ish, to help prepare my body for the cold months to come, and it definitely keeps my ears a little bit happier. Those are my favorite products for my stretched lobes rolling into the winter. I hope this helps any of you who live in really cold climates or have stretched ears or are just starting out on your ear stretching journey and aren't sure yet how to deal with the winter months and the dry weather. And I'm not the biggest winter fan. I get cold very easily, but here's to hoping that we have a relatively uneventful and nice winter this year. It's gonna be my first full winter in the Northeast uh, since moving back from the South, so. I'm a little bit stressed for winter, um, but I am also a tiny bit excited to see a lot of snow again. Just the tiniest bit though. Um, I didn't really miss it that much when I lived in Florida, but it is pretty. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for sitting down and chatting with me. As per usual, if you like this video or you like the content that I put out, please hit like and subscribe. Your support means the world to me, and I'm sure we'll hang out and chat again soon. Bye!